do. And so the most of the damage to kidneys you're going to see is going to be from high blood sugar and insulin, number one, and autoimmune issues, number two. And we know most autoimmune issues start with the gut, start with gut permeability, leaky gut for slaying, but gastrointestinal permeability, overactivating the immune system, opening up the tight junctions, activating the toll-like receptor sites, and then potentially creating molecular mimicry where the body starts to attack other tissues that look similar to certain foods. Or we start to have bacteria and, and biotoxins and mold toxins. <clears throat> These are going to be really damaging too. Mold toxins can also be very hard on the kidneys. That's why we like when we have mold issues, we're going to be adding in binders. We're going to want to sequester, sequester those toxins, pull out the stool because mold toxins can be very hard on the kidneys too. So big things out of the gate, we want to make sure we have good hydration. We want to make sure we have good electrolytes. High blood pressure is a big deal because your kidneys filtering out <clears throat> your water, <clears throat> your blood. <clears throat> It's filtering out your blood. And so if you have high blood pressure, we're pushing fluid through that filter at a faster rate that can put more stress on the filtration. And so what's the way that we get our blood pressure down? Biggest thing is inflammation. Inflammation causes blood vessels to contract, right? You put your thumb over the garden hose, what happens? It sprays further and faster. So get your inflammation down, right? Look at the big foods that drive inflammation. Anything more processed, anything on the glutinous grain side, any of your big food allergens, look at your potential processed dairy if you're sensitive in that area. Look at any of your added sugar or any processed fats. Those are going to be the big foods we're going to look at, right? Your paleo kind of template foods are going to be ideal. And again, keeping the carbohydrates in check, right? Because if blood pressure goes up high, that can be a problem. Uh, high levels of insulin are going to also impact uh, and they're going to cause extra sodium retention. When sodium retention it goes up, water follows sodium. So when water goes up, then your blood pressure can also go up. So making sure your insulin is not high, that can increase blood pressure. 